Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Game. And in this week's edition we have a number of variety of different assets from churches to horses. All will make sense very, very shortly. So, let's do this. Let's kick things off with a creator who just doesn't stop giving. It's King Leno with a couple of commercial shop buildings, both a Starbucks and a at and t now looking at the models they've been very very well designed you can have them as single placed items such as i have here or you can combine the two together or a combination of them to create a shopping complex and if you wish to just use the buildings themselves and create your own shops adding your own logos you can do so just make sure that when you subscribe to the items you don't click all the extra bits such as the starbucks sign and chairs the level of detail is as expected now with King Leno's work at the very highest level and well there's not more really I can say on this, the textures are beautiful, great work. Last week he produced a futuristic town museum and this week we have a futuristic town university by Cushy Crocs. Now when I first saw this in the workshop I thought it was a little bit too futuristic for most people's cities and towns but looking at it a bit more detail I think we can get away with putting this into any sort of modern location. The detail levels are great and I do love the overall sort of glass feel that this building has. The only thing I would change is probably the default trees but other than that this has been another great release. Up next we have a new creator, it's Hadis and it's the white water lily cluster and boy do they look beautiful. I imagine a lot of you have already downloaded this, this uh, asset in particular. The level of detail, beautiful, it's just a great addition to anyone with a little pond or lake. Oh and obviously we look forward to your next asset release. Great work. Up next we have the return of Mick Crosshill and he's really making a mark for himself creating these beautiful boats and piers. And here today we have the Marina Club 69. And what I particularly like about this build is it's a combination of two working assets really. You've got the area for getting onto the boats but also you can walk up the stairs to Marina Club 69 and grab yourself a nice little cocktail and chill out on top deck. Now the level of detail involved in pretty much all of uh, Mick Crosshill's designs are exceptional. If you're looking to create any sort of pier or marina, or you want some nice looking yachts and boats, check out his workshop, he does it all. Up next we have a release from Azure Venable and we have the solar panels. Now I think there's a couple of these already on the workshop but nowhere near the level of detail that this one in particular has which makes it perfect for any sort of field or even on top of buildings. I can't see why you couldn't add these on top of buildings to have solar panel areas but this is certainly one that I will be using very very shortly. Up next we have the return of Armesto and he personally created me these horse racing prop pack for my latest horse racing build. And it really shows the correct characteristics and the ability of some of these creators. These were done very very quickly but the level of detail is still astonishing. So if you wanted to create your own racing track for the horses, you can now. Also he created this beautiful glass conservatory building and this is actually based on the one from the Royal Ascot course in the UK. Now despite this being built specifically for my project I certainly feel this can be used for many other people's projects. One idea I had would it be the perfect sort of restaurant and dining area for a large sort of hotel complex 
But make what you like of it guys, this is still a very very good build and certainly one that you should try and consider including. Up next we have a very interesting build by the one and only Ronix with the Azadi Tower from Iran. Now this is a very unique building and one that might not suit everyone's needs but the level of detail and the way this has been built is astonishing. And if you ever wondered how these models are built, Ronix does some extremely good live streams and he also puts his videos up on YouTube. So check him out. I'll drop a link in the description below if you're interested in pursuing that. Up next we have the return of Mr. Mason with his new asset, the Sunflower. And the level of detail on this actual flower is beautiful. Perfect for any home and garden or even in a field. However, make sure you do not overdo it because these flowers are extremely high detailed. Next we have something to brighten up your day. Well, maybe not your day, but certainly your driving experience. We have the Casa with these road studs and they are certainly a great addition to make your roads and motorways really stand out at night time. Beautiful addition. Next up we have an eggplant statue. Yes I know you're probably wondering why on earth are we reviewing this but this is the unofficial mascot of the recently opened Discord channel for City Skylines. So whether you want to chat to your favourite creators or just chill out in the general chat. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join the ever-growing community. And now that's out of the way, we move on to the last and my favourite release of the week. We have the Faganol Church by Lost Gecko. Los Gecko's really made a name for himself creating these beautiful churches and I don't think there's not one that I haven't subscribed to from his workshop. So by all means guys, check out everything else he does. He does some beautiful medieval items and the detail is always the same. It's beautiful. Some of the textures he makes for these buildings are out of this world. And all in all, a great release for the workshop and I'm sure plenty, plenty more to come. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best. <laughs>